Hey guys, Julie the Radiant Reseller and this is going to be my second attempt to make this video because I forgot to put it on airplane mode and some bill person I'm sure called and disconnected me. So let's do this again. My son is taking a nap and he might wake up soon so you might hear him. Um, hopefully he'll sleep. <laughs> so I wanted to do a top 10 of what sells for me. So, oh, let me say that I'm Julie P. Yogi on Instagram. Or sorry, I was Julie P. Yogi. I, I changed my username to the Radiant, Re or Radiant Reseller. There wasn't enough spaces to do the Radiant Reseller. Um, so I used to be Julie P. Yogi. I am deep, I'm at Radiant Reseller on YouTube, obviously, since you're here. Um, on Instagram, on Mercari, and eBay. Um, but these are the top 10 brands that sell for me only on Poshmark. I don't know how to do it on eBay or Mercari yet. I'm not good with those yet. I'm sorry, I have something in my tooth and it's driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. Just take a little sip of coffee. Some other cute little cup that has coffee all over it. Um, how did I not feel that I had something in my tooth until I got on the video? I don't know. I'm sorry. Especially for those people that have me so funny and don't like mouth noises. If you didn't know what Misa Funny is, it's an irritation with mouth noises. Because I have it. <laughs> um, okay, so all that to say, I'm a mother of three boys. Two boys who are 18, 19 and 22, and a boy who is 8 months old who is sleeping. Um, I am also a part-time yoga teacher and a full-time mom, obviously, and pretty much a full-time reseller. I'm not quite making a full-time income yet. I'll just throw that out there, but I am attempting to. So I don't get any money for these videos. I'm just posting them because I wish in the beginning when I was looking up YouTube people to follow, everyone was like, I felt like so far out of my range. Like, oh my Lord, they are high tech. They have everything all organized and sorted. And I'm just a mom selling on the side, you know? So I'm getting, it's becoming more of a business, especially when my husband sees that I'm constantly depositing money in our account, he is very excited about it. So it's working. But these are the top 10, top 10 brands that have sold for me in the last two years. So in November, it'll be my two year anniversary. And the brands are not brands that I would go out and source. Well, let me just preface that. Don't go out and buy all these brands because Julie said they will sell. This is what sells for me because this is what I have in my closet so obviously if I have a bunch of you know like pink Victoria's Secret that's gonna sell for me which mind you I do I have uh well I just took one to Plato's closet because <laughs> I needed the cash um but I have like three items and they have a lot of likes but they just aren't selling for me and I know other people swear by that brand and in fact at Plato's closet on the sign on the door it says we want and it listed Victoria's Secret pink and I'm like which is why they took it but um so this is what sells for me and the majority of my clothes at the time in the beginning were given to me so I couldn't help the brands it was just like oh hey these brands mm, they sell so I want you to know that don't go out and buy these brands I just want you to know they're selling for me <laughs> that caveat um, okay Adidas I was very surprised but I have to say I was given probably five or six um, I have a lady that I used to clean her house organize her house and she was a bit of a pack rat. She had clothes from the boys since birth and they were 10. So she gave me a lot of clothes and there was a lot of Adidas in there and there was matching because they were twins. So that could be a lot of the reason why I have over nine items of Adidas that sold. And I would say that probably 80, 95% were from her. Um, Lane Bryant, I'm not really surprised. Big girls need clothes too. I'm a big girl. I had a lot, a few Lane Bryant gifted to me, but most of them were either probably mine or um, maybe I sourced them. I'm not sure. Um, Marona. Again, I would never go source Marona from Target, but I mean, I had over nine items of Marona, so Pandora, the jewelry like the charms. So these, um, this one, I had a friend give me a Pandora bracelet that had a bunch of charms. And I took them all off and sold them individually. So that's one of the reasons why. But you know what? There was only like three charms. But she also gave me um, earring and necklace set. And I sold those separately. Somebody wanted to buy them separately. So I sold them separately. Um, and then there was another necklace, I think. 
and then the bracelet, and then a bunch of charms. So that's why that's so high. I wouldn't have never found Pandora at a thrift store. So all that to say, it might be good to go source low price Pandora and resell it. I don't know. I um I don't really know. I've seen people report Pandora for being fake, so I don't know how to tell if it's real or not. So I don't know. I don't feel comfortable in that realm of selling of that unless it was gifted to me and I know it came from the Pandora store. Um I have Marona on here twice. Well that sucks, but I also know that um the second one that I didn't add on here that was also high was Mossimo, which is also from Target. So again another brand that sells well. Um American Eagle, which I was not surprised. Every time I list American Eagle, I get likes right away. I think the younger crowd really like American Eagle. And mind you, I used to swear by American Eagle. I loved their blue jeans. They fit amazing. And then one day, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a funny story. Try to tell it quick before the baby wakes up. I had my first pair of skinny jeans. And mind you, I'm a curvy girl. And I was a little like... I always liked the wider leg, and then when the skinny jeans came in, and everyone would kind of like make fun of me for wearing wide legs. Okay, I went and got a pair of skinny jeans. They weren't even tight, y'all. They fit me perfect. I loved them. They were probably a month old, and I was at Barnes and Noble with a baby that I was babysitting at the time, and he had just learned to walk. And so basically, I was just following him around Barnes and Noble and letting him walk. We went to the train to let him play, and I bent over and I got on the floor with him. I get up and I follow him out and I'm <laughs> in the copy Barnes and Noble um, Starbucks which is owned by Barnes and Noble there but it's still Starbucks and my son who was at the time I think like 13 or 14 was reading a book there and this lady who was like totally pretty like total model thank the Lord she comes up to me and goes um ma'am the back of your pants are split. And I'm like, do what? <laughs> like, I heard it. But it just didn't register. Because I was like, these are fucking brand new. How does that happen? They weren't even tight. All I know is somewhere between getting up and down on the floor and walking from the back end of the store all the way up to the front of the store, it not only split, it split. Now, I have yoga pants on, so I can't really show you. But it split from, like, the top right in between the pocket and the seam, all the way down to the bottom. So my whole ass cheek was just hanging out for everyone to see. I was wearing boy shorts too, so it could have been worse. Could have been wearing like thongs or no underwear or something, but oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I was like, thank you so much. Luckily I had um, like one of those puffer vests on. And so I just kind of like put it around my waist and I was like, Kevin, we've got to go. And he was like, what? Why? Because he's having such a good time. I like showed him and he was like, <laughs> it's mortifying. That's the last time I ever fought American Eagle. If you like that story, that you get a good laugh. But I mean, literally look like squirrels were gnawing on my jeans. Like it was just like, <laughs> like, how does that happen? I don't know. They had spandex in them. They're stretchy. They shouldn't have ripped and they weren't even tight. That's what kills me. Oh, it made me so mad. So I never bought from them again. All that to say, they're a brand. <laughs> they're a brand that sells. Um, so another brand is Coach. And now um, I was gifted one, two, three, I think four. Or no, two of them I gave away. But I was gifted three or four Coach purses. And then, oh yeah, and then also I went through a Coach phase where I kept buying and reselling. If I didn't like it, I would resell. I would carry it. So that's, yeah, I forgot about that. So there was like three or four Coach purses that I bought and I used for a few months and then resold. I kept getting nicer and nicer. I would sell them for more than I bought them for and then upgrade and get a nicer one that didn't have any stains or whatever. So that's why Coach is on there because I had an obsession with having a nice purse. Um, Marana Pandora, Lane Bryant, Anthropology, Adidas, Hobo. Hobo is a great brand. If you guys aren't familiar, familiar with it, you need to familiarize yourself with it. Hobo International or Unlimited? I can never remember which one. Let me see if it says. You see, it just said when you type hobo, it just comes up hobo. Um, I want to. My wallet's in the car too. Mm. It's one or the other. I'm pretty sure it's unlimited. But they make really cute um, Lauren wallets. They're all like, all of the purses and wallets are named after a girl. And I love them. They're quality, high 
leather, like great made items. And they retail brand new for anywhere between $129 to $169. Just the wallet. Not the purses, just the wallet. Purses are around $300. So they sell them at Nordstrom's, Nordstrom Racks. I'm not sure where else, but they're a great brand. So y'all, I buy them um, a lot and resell them because people don't, they, they're selling them for way low, lower than they should be. But y'all are not going to play the number one reselling brand for me. Old Navy. Now, I don't really like Old Navy. It's been a long time since I've shopped at Old Navy. And that's what I have in my closet because I was gifted a ton of clothes. So I would not go out and source Old Navy. In fact, one time when I went to Goodwill, there was a brand new with tags with Old Navy and it didn't have any stains or on it or whatever and I bought it. But I would never buy Old Navy because I think, oh, that doesn't sell. And I mean, I probably should have done a sorting by the amount. And then I, it's, I have a really old computer and it's hard to figure all that out. But I mean, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. So the average hobo price I have, let's see, is above $30. So I have like 35, 50, 27, 35, 58, 14. 55. Oh wait. Yeah, 55. So hobos are great. And that's what I made off of it, y'all. Um H&M is another good brand that like sold like 7. But I was really surprised that Old Navy was my number one top seller. I always say like I would never buy Old Navy and then here it's my number one selling brand. But again, that's because I had a lot of Old Navy in my closet. One of the ladies that I do consignment with, she wears a lot of Old Navy and I think she wears everything like one time and then gives it to me so it all is brand new or still has the tags on it so that's another reason why it really sells well for me um but i just wanted you to know that going into it that that is not a brand i would source but it does sell so happy reselling uh and if you guys like my videos you know i'm just a mom i don't know anything about all the technological savvy stuff that other people do but i just like to make videos to help other people because I was grateful to other YouTubers that did that for me in the beginning. So happy reselling. Click the little uh, bell and you'll get a notification every time I'm making a video. Bye y'all.